So when you're talking about like uh, uh, there is like uh, if you see this whenever we are creating any labs over the virtual servers you see this partition it's common right yeah it's common so when you say within the f5 when the f5 is making an operating system it create a different partitions one by default partition is the common partition means all the objects related to your nodes related to your virtual servers related to your nodes come into that partition partition is just like a when you say within within a windows operating system you say cd within the c you are creating a different partition like cde and all stuff right in the same way you are creating uh, you are just telling that space within the f5 that okay this space is used for these type of virtual servers and all stuff okay okay got it so in the uh, <coughs> now sometimes the scenarios comes into the pictures like uh, uh, within the same f5 one of the other customer like you are hosting a multiple customers right let's say there are two customers and let's take an example of uh, let's say there is two there are two customers and they are publishing their two virtual servers but my requirement is or from the administrative perspective you the both customer ask you that i need an access to your web big ip to add some stuff or to delete some stuff related to their virtual servers right got my point yes so in that case if you are using a common partition and then giving a two user access to the common partition it means they have access to this virtual servers and this virtual servers right so to separate that role you need to create a different per, different partition and then assign the user to that partition so that it, he can look for that partition only cannot look for the other partition okay got it yes. but in this f5 by default the partition is common that is viewable to all customers but you can say that it is a like read only permission and all stuff but it is viewable but if any partition that is creating for different user by created by the different administrator different user cannot be seen by other okay. so the common partition because it is required to function so you uh, to f5 but you can create a multiple partition and based on the multiple partition you can you say that multiple customer uh, administrator can use their own partitions when it says use their own partition it means you can define the pools separately uh using the different ips that cannot be visible to the different uh, administrator based on the roles that you have specifying okay so you can use uh, partition that of scenarios okay okay so if you see this uh it, <clears throat> now let's say it is showing an example with the partition of the app 1 and app 1 is related to say, let's say customer 1 okay okay and the partition 2 is for app 2 let's say it's related to customer 2 right okay so if you okay. see this so we have created a virtual servers within that partition profiles and all stuff okay same way it has created their own profile and partition all stuff mm -hmm. right you can you can if you if you are creating any partition and profile here you can use it here because common partition can be used by any partition but anything that you are doing here will not be used here okay uh, or here uh, okay. i mean the partition common so you said that any anything that is created in the uh, common, common partition. partition can be used by the different partitions okay yes but anything that is created within that partition cannot be used by other partition so uh, what is that within the partition means within the partition means let's say this is my whole fi box right and this is having a common partition okay okay so you have created object here okay, okay. now we have part, we have created two more partition within that fi box one is less a one is less b right so common partition object can be used in this and can be used in this but okay. any object that you are creating here cannot be used in this okay 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 got it yes <clears throat> so it is like separating the roles uh, for, or you can say the separating uh, different objects for the different partition so that you can assign a different customer uh, that okay they can uh, they have the control of this partition only 
Okay. Second, you have to create. Uh, you are creating a different customer. They have the control of their own partition. He cannot do any changes on the their other other customer partitions. So you can segregate that behavior, right? Okay. <clears throat> so it is like this one. So you can create this one. Partition access is one partition. All partition access. When it says if you are assigning a, a user to a one partition, it means it will assign to that particular partition. If you want to assign to all partition, it means then that particular user can access all partition, right? It is based on the like which user is allowed to which partition, okay? Okay. Having a route domain. Now, these like different things is like different purposes. So it is not necessary that you are doing all stuff in your F5 box, right? It is based on the scenarios that you are using different type of features with different type of things. Okay? Maybe you are not using partition. Maybe you need the route domains. What is route domain? Do you have heard about the VRFs? Uh, no. Okay. When it says within the same routing table, uh, VRF, like this is your router. And uh, let's say one subnet is 10.x can you define another interface with the same subnet on the router uh i mean every interface on a router is like a different network so we can't so we cannot use that right yes because it says like it is directly connected and it's already been assigned they do not want that they should be overlapped with each other with each other right yes yes so in that case if you if Suppose like you are a service provider and this customer is also using a 10.x subnet and this customer is also using a 10.x subnet and you want to terminate the in your router, how we can do is you are creating a VRFs. Okay. What's the expansion of that? No, no. It is like virtual routing forwarding. Okay. okay what it is doing, it is like it is creating a separate routing instance for this VRF and separate routing instance for this VRF so that though both cannot see each other. Okay. Until unless you are not doing any kind of routing leak in between, but you can assume that when you are creating a virtual routing table, it means for that particular VRF, if you are assigning any interfaces to that particular VRF, it means that is only being seen on uh, on that particular interface. Suppose like in this, this is my router and having ten interfaces. So what I can say, I can assign these two VRF, these two interfaces in the VRF A and these two VRF. Uh, these two interface in the VRF B. So any routing between these cannot be seen on this, right? Got it? So you can use overlapping subnets within the same router, right? This is okay. possible using virtual routing forwarding. This is the same concept that can be used in F5, but that concept name is called route domain. Okay. So, so when you are creating a self IP here, if I say, <clears throat> I have created this IP, self IP. Okay. Now let's say I create the same. Uh, now the next customer comes and they say, okay, I am also having the same subnet IP, 14.201. Can I assign it? No. No. Because they have on the same interface. But to assign that type of information, you need a route domain concept. If you see this slide, you see. They have the two route domains, and the customer app is also on the same subnet, and it means virtual server is also on the same, and this virtual server is also on the same server, same IP. Is okay. it possible without using route domain? No. no. We can create only virtual server with the same IP, single IP. Now it says like their internal IP is same, their pool is same, their virtual server is same, and other customers are also using the same type of stuff. How is this possible? You need to create a route domain. When you are creating a route domain, it means you are creating a different VRFs. Okay, got it. So yes. when you say VRF, it is means separating the routing instance of uh, two different customers. So right, they can use the all the resources. All the resources means uh, like uh, when if a yeah, I mean, virtual IP is generated. So mm -hmm. this is this one. I mean this uh, particular app A and particular app B. They are separated using the route domains they have all the uh, i mean what we call the ip and stuff in the same right yes you have to create all the stuff separately for this to 
and create separately for this one. So there is a notation. Uh, I will show you in the like how you are creating this stuff to separate between the these two route domains, right? Okay. So let's say right now what we are whenever we are creating a self IV, we are not divide, defining any notation. So to define any notation for route domain, suppose like uh, I'm using a 10.10.x7 at the second customer is also using 10.10.7. How the F5 knows that this is part of single VRF, this is part of the different VRF, right? We need to identify some, like in router we are defining by the VRF names. In F5 we are to define by its route domains notation. Okay. okay. So if you say, okay, I'm assigning a self IP 192.168.1.10. It is my self IP. If you put this as a one, it means it is goes to the route domain one. If you do the same IP percentage one, two, it means it has a, it is this particular IP goes to this routing domain. So they do not see each other now, right? So they are on the two different VRFs, okay? And they have the two different routing tables. Got my point? Yes. So uh, yeah, can you explain it like one one sixty eight dot one dot zero? After that, what did one you are using the same self IP for customer A? And using okay. the same IP 1.10 for customer B also, but we are giving a notation of percentage one means this oh, this particular yes, IP is part of route domain one, and this this particular IP is part of route domain two. Okay. Got it. Now, yes. if you are taking an example of this, like uh, this is says like if you are using this IP, it could be virtual server IP, it could be a self IP, but if you are putting a notation here, it means it is part of route domain two. Okay. So, so do not confuse uh, with, uh, uh, I'm not sure whether you have IP6 uh, concept or not. In IP6, there is a percentage tells about uh, 000, zero, zero and all stuff. So you just ignore that part right now. Okay. okay. So when I was saying, like if you need to segregate same subnet, or you, you can say that route domains are used when you have the overlapping subnets uh, for defining the pools and self IP. Okay. Okay, so.